right YouTube welcome to another video I hope we're all staying dry um, it's just the beginning of November where we're getting all those storms so <laughs> I'm trying to find a job I can do uh, inside the car um, I bought a load of bits a while ago to do like a sort of gear change refurb sort of update type thing I've seen Matty Champ White do a lot of this stuff already so big thanks to him for um, suggesting all these things um, so I've got a sort of cheap 30 quid short shifter kit. I've got, oh let me switch around. We've got some of these Teguar gear linkage, sort of more solid bushes. And then we've got the, I have to remind myself what these are called. So we've got shifter springs and we've got detent, detent springs. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully, I was thinking of doing them all in one episode, but it's going to be a pretty long episode. So I'm probably going to split this out into a few of them. So in this one, we're going to be doing the short shifter. And then hopefully when we get some dry weather and a bit of time, I can do the rest. I have had a little look at the instructions. Actually, well, fair play to the guy that sells these. He's got some really good instructions. Um, and I've seen that these little buggers require uh, engine mount to be removed. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to do them at the moment because it's, pretty, it's a pretty big job I think considering compared to actually what I thought it was going to be. So they might have to wait a little bit. But I'll certainly be doing these and obviously the short shifter. So I'm just blabbering on at the moment. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Right, so I've had a little look in the engine bay and it all looks doable apart from those detent springs. Um, Cause you've got to remove the engine mount to do that. Um, I'm not sure how much enthusiasm I've got for this to be doing that. So maybe I'll leave the little detent springs and do them another time if I don't know if something else is happening down that area and the, the engine mounts off. Um, as for the job in hand, I have undone for like the millionth time. You've got four, four little screw bolt things, one either side there and then the same down the back, little plastic covers on them, taking them off so I can lift this up. Um, and then I have obviously taking the gear knob off and then I've just been prying off this um, I tend to grab hold of this with one hand pull it upwards and then get my little plastic trim tool underneath just to get it going but yeah that's how far I've got so far right so I've taken off more bits than I was expecting <laughs> I should have really research these things before I do them but oh well um, so as you can see I've kind of properly moved this out of the way now. And obviously this as well. So we've got two, it varies whether it's bolts or just little plastic clips down there, either side to each side. Um, it's just a bit of a pain to maneuver out from that gap, especially when I've got these cables as well for my stereo. But well, it's out the way now. Um, I suspect you need it out of the way. Don't know for sure, really. <laughs> Not much use. So yeah, we can see what we're working with now. Got myself a nice little cup of coffee to keep me going. It's properly started raining now. Um, right, <laughs> where was I? Um, what have I done? So I pulled that off. It's just to prise the clip apart. So that comes away from the, the horizontal I don't even know what to call that that thing anyway. Um, I've got to ping this one off next. So I meant to show you what actually comes in the kit. So we got an Allen key for tightening this up. We've got the three replacement, um, I don't know what you call them, sort of washers I suppose, that go on these bolts. Uh, and we've also got this tool as well which is for 
peeing this blue cap off. Now I know this is going to be a real pain in the ass. I've seen other people <laughs> struggling with it. I think that's the pain in the ass, getting that off, putting it back on. Um, I think possibly taking the washers out and seating new ones can be a pain. And then also filing away down there. Alright, so I got the cap off. I think I bent the tool a little bit as well. Yeah. Um, it's going to go flying. So I might want to put something to try and catch it. I don't know. What I ended up doing was... You could almost do a three... Three hands with this. One to hold that still. So I'm just going to balance that there. No, I'm not. So imagine that's on there. And then I put a pry bar either side. So one resting on that bolt there, one resting on that bolt there, sort of either side of... I need three hands to film this as well. So yeah, either side of this metal thing and then just... And then just leave them both down. And pop off it popped and absolutely went flying it's down there at the moment so it's currently pushing the little metal inserts out these ones down here this pry bar is quite a good size for just pushing them through the top one was a little bit tricky it's hard to get enough room behind it to, to get it out from the other side i suppose you could probably disconnect this but i can't quite see how to do it and i don't want to touch anything in case i break it these little rubber surrounds bushes whatever you want to call them they're much the same quite easy you can just push them through there's the three bolts in they weren't too bad actually did the top one first let's put the insert in from from behind um and then just put it i did bolt enough just to catch the threads and then did the other two and then the yeah, just sort of went round tightening each one a little bit at a time no idea what torque settings they should be, but um, I suppose you have to just judge it and if it was nice and solid. I mean, these things are going to make a difference straight away compared to the the rubber ones we had before, because there's going to be no mo no movement in this mechanism at all. So that's a, a win straight away, isn't it? So I'm going to give this a little clean out, put some new grease in it before I put it on the new little extender. Extender. I'm going to use a bit of silicon grease. Not sure if that's probably the right grease, but I suppose this is plastic. So I'll have to remember to take it out and put it on the other blue thing. So I'm hoping the vice will better push the cap on. That works a treat. Right, so much time later, <laughs> I didn't realise how much filing I had to do. Um, let me grab a light. So hopefully you can kind of gauge how much. So you can kind of see where it used to curve round. No, yeah, I've obviously taken all this bit away. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a lot of filing. I used a wood file. It's obviously more coarse. Does it a bit quicker. You need the semicircle side on it. I know some people use Dremels and things like that, but I don't know. It wasn't... I think the worst thing was that I kept refitting the new bit to see whether it cleared it, and it didn't, and you have to take it off and carry on. I think if you had a sort of idea how much to take off to start with, I was a bit concerned because I've kind of you've kind of gone through there, but it shouldn't make any difference. Um, so yeah, it seems to feel all right now. Um, I'll chuck it on and then show you how it looks. So I've angled the Allen key bolt this way. I did have it so it was facing towards me, towards the handbrake, 
but um because this bit sticks out a bit it was very close to the edge of this I wasn't touching it but it was close so i thought oh, i'll just put it this way because there's lots of room going this way so there we are i've i've touched this one um <laughs> You know I said I was going to silicon that one. Um, I kind of weighed up the pros and cons and thought if I break that little plastic cap I'm going to be really annoyed. So I left it as it is. I don't know. feels fine. Um, this one then, if I just go through the gears. Go first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth and reverse but it's pretty close you can see there's a there's a bit of wobble in it so it's not touching the plastic hopefully it helps someone else out and um, they can sort of get an idea of how much to, to file off Oh, I meant to say I vacuumed as well. There was a lot of plastic dust, so um, yeah, probably deserves a bit of a, a vacuum down there, to be honest. All right, the light's starting to fade, but I'm going to quickly try and record uh, what the gear change looks like now, so I can compare it to before. Um, hopefully, if I can record this properly, I can sort of overlay them. Maybe, don't know, we shall see. to go in I think. Uh, as you can see short shifter is installed, um, feels pretty good, got a nice short throw as you'd imagine from a short shifter. Shame it's only like the, the back and forwards motion, um, obviously it doesn't do anything to the, the left and right motion. Uh, you'd have to spend a lot more money like the hybrid racing one which is something ridiculous like £500 maybe. And then there's, I've seen another one which is similar on eBay which is maybe £150-£200. Um, Call me odd that I'll spend a load of money on other stuff, but not the shifter. But yeah, I spent 30 quid rather than 500 pounds. So anyway, waffling on. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good. Pretty pleased with it. Um, I haven't quite taken it for a spin yet. I've just been sitting on a driveway <laughs> changing gear loads. But um, yeah, stay tuned for all the other bits and pieces I'm going to do in regards to the gear change. And uh, should see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.